<laughs> I'm piloting alone. <laughs> well, I don't really have a choice though, so... <laughs> User authentication completed. R2 YF. That's a different program. soundtrack. Um. Yeah. You don't need to force yourself to say anything. <laughs> right. These things are better left to know. That giant meteora, Alt Deus, has absorbed all the other meteoras on the surface. Okay. That's good for us. All the jamming up there has been cleared. So, that means... I can provide remote support from here. You'll be able to operate the Machia just like you did when Noah was around. Oh. I'm going to start connecting to the Machia. Launch Makani Link. Motion check. Put both arms through Makani Links. Connection confirmed. Status is good. Start cranial connection. Connection confirmed. No problems. Target Aldeus's movement is sluggish. It probably hasn't completely merged all the meteoras. This is our chance to attack. Aim for a quick fight. Copy that. I wonder if I can analyze it. Oh my god. Uh, Abnormality detected above the enemy. That's if we let her escape through that hole, we won't be able to do anything to her. The Ares Machia is here. Wait, what the hell is that? We either do something about that hole, or we defeat Alt Deus before it escapes. Let's do this. Yamato, Alba. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I get my stubbornness from my career. Oh. Together can block it. Gotta do what we gotta do. Julie, I'll be your opponent. I'm gonna share off these mass entries. No, I'll share off even more. It's pretty big. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I have no idea if I should analyze it or not. You make the decision, Chloe. See? Okay. I have no idea. I'm gonna analyze it? I don't know. Just trying, I guess. Yes, Noah? Ah. Telling us to attack there? Okay. I but think that was fine. That kind of information coming from inside the enemy. I can only think of one possibility. It's from them. Oh. Noah and Anima? Way to go, guys. You're satisfied now, aren't you, Chloe? Let's break it. Damn it. Its value won't disappear. Each and every second and minute recorded is precious. Your theory is full of holes. The phone wave's coming. Can you block it, Yamato? Yeah, I can still move. Julie fixed it up before. It's coming. Get ready. The four 
wave dissipated. Good job. Fire, Chloe! Launch mirror generator! Activating mirror phonon. Forming conversion barrier. Prepare for contact. Chloe! Uh, I think analyze again. Is this? I have data on this place. It's the meteora that disappeared into the hole. The hole's closing. Now the alt deus can't escape. Oh, it's that one from back then. It's helping us. My decision. It, it wasn't for nothing. Detected from all dates. What is that light? Is it planning to attack? It's not. I can hear no and anima singing from inside. So what's the light then? It's where the black object is. Alba. Got it. I don't know if we're gonna shoot even when it did twice the analyze. It shouldn't, I think. I don't know, I'm gonna shoot. Do you like shooting stars, Julie? I sure don't. I'm not sure if I should have shot. Like now I'm kind of confused at the ending. Chloe? It's dangerous. I'm still getting a response from it. Get away. No. I'm staying. Chloe, you finally made it this far. Don't worry. It's fine now. I never felt any hate coming from the merge to begin with. Soon. We can be very soon. Coco. What? Huh? Non-temporal characteristics with them. Hey, can you hear me? What's your name? My name is... Coco. Nice to meet you. Coco. Let's start with the preparations. I must test if their sense of self will remain, no matter what I insert them into. What should I put them into first? A bird, cat, butterfly? Or maybe some plant. I'll try transplanting them into a red flower. The meteoras definitely exist. My theoretical prediction shouldn't have any holes. Am I a fucking flower? <laughs> Calculations show direct observation is possible after this stage. What should I reincarnate them into next? <gasps> I know! Mineral ore sounds good. I should make it as similar to the real thing as I can. Hey, can you hear me? Mm hmm. Hey, let's talk. Somehow, I feel like this isn't the first time we've talked. Nice to meet you. I'm Coco. What 
What's your name? Coco. I'm... My name is... Hey, Chloe. Why don't we go and search for stars one day? Those things Professor Julie just talked about? Yeah. They're those big, faraway things. And yet, they look so small. And they're always shiny. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Does it? Let's go see the stars together one day. It's a promise. A promise? It means something you won't ever forget and will definitely fulfill. Okay. I promise. Fantastic! Incredible! The entanglement between Chloe and Coco is excellent! They should be able to feel each other's presence no matter how far apart they are! Now, it's time to turn you back into humans! What is your name? I am... Chloe, a trainee of the 1st Regiment of Prometheus. I have been appointed as Coco Kokonoe's guard as of today. Nice to meet you, my friend, Chloe. Coco! I'm sorry. Uh, where am I? Well, hello. Coco? I've been thinking this whole time about what I should say when we finally meet again. Are you really Coco? I'm not dreaming, am I? <laughs> it's been a while. Seems a bit too frank. But welcome back would sound strange. Or perhaps I should say, thanks for coming here. Or I'm happy to see you again. Oh my. I haven't even decided what I should say yet. If you're really you, I don't care what you say. I have so much I want to say to you. There's so much I want to talk to you about before you went to the surface. I'm so sorry for saying I wish I'd never met you. You don't need to apologize. I knew you didn't mean it. I wasn't able to be there for you when you were in so much pain over losing yourself. You still came all this way, didn't you? I... I'm a failure as a friend. You're not the one to decide that. Coco. Coco. Yes? I missed you. So did I, Chloe. I've been here, listening to your feelings this whole time. From when you were grieving in the sunroom, to when you battled on the front lines as a pilot. From when you quarreled with busybody Noah, to when you were perplexed by Anima's smile. I know all about it because I've been feeling what you have. Did my voice reach you? Yeah, I heard it. Were you guiding me from this place? Where are we though? We're inside the Meteora. It's a mysterious space where the concept mm. of time doesn't exist. I've been examining all sorts of time here. When we'd first met, before we had, too. How we'd change into flowers and butterflies. It was like we went through cycles of rebirth. With every rebirth, we reunite. With every reunion, we separate. We started out as Professor Julie's devious plan. She summoned the Meteoras, the Guardians of Time, to our world. She was going to have one absorb you. I was supposed to be absorbed? Yes, but I couldn't let that happen. I couldn't let her have her way. The meteora that the professor would control would distort all time. I became aware of this plan because my past self received a message from the current me. I had to stop her. I had to upset her plans. So I became like a string, binding myself to a meteora as it floated through time. That is who Anima is, as well as this giant meteora pinned down in time. Mm. Come, Chloe. 
It's your turn now. You must sever the string and the meteora with it. What do you mean? I'm sorry, Chloe. I should be the one apologizing. I'm about to force you to undertake another trial. You remember how to shoot my gun, don't you? Huh. Shoot. What? <laughs> okay, well. We haven't completely foiled Professor Julie's plans yet. She won't vanish as long as this meteora she created still exists. As part of her plan, we need to completely sever the ties between us. If not, the situation will only repeat itself. It will seize us over and over again. We'll be dragged back into the cycle of rebirth. Unless you willingly shoot me to defeat Professor Julie's Meteora. Wait. No, you've got to be joking. I've finally seen you again. I've finally made it here, so why does it have to end like this? I won't let that happen. I didn't come all the way here to shoot you. I... I know how you feel. Let's go back, Coco. The sunroom's been kept the way it was. I watered the dahlias every day so they wouldn't wither. I know. Yamato and Alba miss you too. Yes. I know. Then why are you trying to make me pull the trigger again? Why are you making me do something so cruel? It is what it is. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. That's not what I want to hear from you. There's just no other way. I've been watching you from here, Chloe. You were nurtured by the people around you. I watched you live, hurt, and get hurt. Misunderstand. Confront and understand others, Chloe. You're no longer only mine. Noah made you smile. Anima adores you. And you have both of them by your side. You even have Yamato and Alba. You know, I'm slightly jealous of all of them. <sighs> Listen to me. This isn't only for your sake. It's for the people who are precious to you. We can't let Professor Julie go on a rampage. Time will be lost and the world will collapse. Even the present times you cherish will be lost. <sighs> Please, Chloe. Let me protect all of you. Don't let my determination be for nothing. No. No, that's unfair. You know exactly what you have to say to make me shoot you. I do. But this is the last time. Hurry, Chloe. The world won't hold much longer. It's collapsing. Do it. Shoot me. No. I don't want to. Don't make me, Coco. E Surprise. Ah, oh, shit, I couldn't myself. <laughs> Ugh, well. Please, don't cry, Chloe. My cycle of rebirth has simply come to an end. I'm finally becoming mm. a star. That's why right. Ariadne was there. Stars are beautiful, Chloe. It would be tragic if you cried in my memory whenever you saw them. So please, smile. A smile suits you best, Chloe. It doesn't mean anything, Coco. It doesn't matter how beautiful this starry sky is, if I have to gaze at it alone. It's unusual seeing dahlias anywhere but the sunroom, let alone on the surface. It's withered. I heard that in the past. People placed flowers on headstones. I'm talking about graves. Places where the dead rest. They placed flowers on them so that they won't forget the person lived a beautiful life like the flowers. Chloe! Hi! How long are you going to just stand there? The meeting started. There's no time for lazing around. We need to rebuild the surface. Chop, chop. Okay, <laughs> I'm coming. 
That day, right after I shot Coco, Professor Julie's giant meteora collapsed. Anima showed up. We managed to salvage Noah from inside of it. The countless meteora we had detected on the surface disappeared ever since that day. Professor Julie was eliminated, and the link between Coco and me was completely severed. Humanity no longer had to fear the meteoras. I think peace has finally come. People came up to the surface, shocked and moved by a horizon they'd never seen before. And though no one ordered them to, people began planting flowers across the desolate landscapes. Chloe, please say something to Noah. She wants to use the Machia for her performance on stage. <laughs> that would be fun, though. I'm totally in agreement. Yeah. The first concert on the surface ought to be flashy. There are no Meteora signals anymore. So, Machia are just huge piles of resources now. And you know what you do with resources. You use them. <laughs> do what you want with them. I'm not a Machia pilot anymore. Come on, Chloe. Don't be so cold. But, Chloe... You might need to pilot it again. We don't detect any at the moment, but there'll be a detailed investigation. We can't relax. The fact that Anima hasn't disappeared means that they haven't been exterminated. What the fuck is she anyways? <laughs> no. I oh, think that... <laughs> we'll be fine. Huh? What do you mean? I don't have any proof, but I can tell. The meteoras won't attack us anymore. Because meteoras were a part of Coco and Judy, so of course not. So we can believe that it's finally time for peace? Uh huh. General Iwaza, we've received an urgent inquiry about the surface exploration plan policies. Again? I finally understand the headaches the former general had to deal with. <sighs> hey, Chloe! Look! <laughs> I'm planning to have my stage constructed around here. It'll be a live concert, surrounded by flowers. Doesn't that just pump you up? Yeah! You're performing too. You've been practicing, right? Oh. Hmm. Not bad. People smile under the sun and the starry sky. Stagnation ends, and we move towards the future. That day at the flower field, I pulled the trigger on Coco. I'd be lying if I said I didn't regret it at all. But this is the choice I made as the human you made me become. Hmm. Our song will echo across the world. No, the universe. Until it reaches Coco. Uh, oh. Yeah, I hope it'll reach her. You think it will? Noah and Anima will need some supersonic voices to pull that off. It will. Of course it will. Because Anima and I are Coco's other half. Our voices are special. Yeah, I'm sure it'll reach her. She'll always hear us. No matter how far apart we are. <laughs> yeah, I believe that's the true ending. I don't think there could be anything else better in terms of kind of like ending the actual storyline that's going on. Such a huge upgrade from Toki Kronos, especially soundtrack design and like influencing the actual scenes that are happening. Of course, the graphics are still shit, but that's not because of the performance issues. It's just a choice of the developer. Pretty 100% sure. If the visual novel has no good visuals, then it's not a visual novel, it's just novel. <laughs> Honestly, I enjoyed way more than Toki Kronos, simply because the storyline was better paced and it made more sense and it was not boring. Here's the thing about Toki Kronos, we had to play it like second time around, the second playthrough was in like 70% the same. Here it's kinda like, when you took the other route, things were way different than the, the previously. It just was interesting to play and not like kinda stale. If we're talking about different endings, there were three major ones. We could finish like sooner because like we chose something that completely did not make sense. But overall like this purple ending, red ending and this white one true ending. 
I think honestly because we did not skip a lot, this game was way longer than Tokyo Chronos, I feel like. Like it felt that way, I played much longer. Character wise, I was very fascinated by Julie and the connection between uh, this puppet and like this person on the photo. Pretty sure it was the connection to the scientist in the previous game. Yamato was whatever, it's this anime, a character that's like, believe in yourself and stuff like that, I hate this. I hate that characteristic. Aoba was average, I would say. Anima was cute. I think Nora was great as well. Dieter and Judy, I would pick like on the same level. I think those characters were the most fascinating, especially like psychologic. We'll see if there's something else different in Ariadne. I don't think so. I would be happy to end this game on that note. But honestly, you can't never tell, I feel like. Like this game just keeps on giving and giving. Okay, so the screen is completely different. Now it's on the surface. What happens if we go to Ariadne now? This, I'm pretty sure, is the true ending. Here's something faintly glowing. I'm not sure if this is like the true ending as well. Here is the connection. Here and here. You're looking again at the Ariadne. I think the only thing glowing is here. So I'm gonna see.